Music Theory for Life Masterclass is a 12-week interactive experience that aims at giving the budding guitar player all the music theory that you're going to need for the rest of your life. This is a complete A to Z course of all the essential scale and chord theory, as well as the real world application techniques that you can learn and start using in your guitar playing right away. You're gonna be learning a bunch of really awesome ideas and concepts and techniques like the cage chord system, uh, the modes of music, essential chordal theory, extended chords, exotic and altered scales, uh, the chord scale theory relationship, you're also gonna be learning about transposition, uh, memorization of your fretboard. Everything that we talk about is directly applied to your fretboard, and there's just so much more. It doesn't matter if you're a beginning guitar player or a skilled advanced player. We start from the ground up and dive deep into some advanced stuff, cutting everything into simple bite-sized chunks so it's easy to swallow and digest. So whether you're just starting out or you've been playing for a lot of years, there's something in here for everybody. Best of all, I've designed this course to be simple and easy to use, so if you're more interested in the whiteboard or the fundamental musical theory elements, it's in here. You're going to be able to go right to it. Or if you'd rather skip over some of those and go right into the fretboard or practical application of the guitar, so you can start learning how to play scales and chords and all that sort of thing, that's in here too. Okay? Whatever it is that you choose, they're all listed in here. And once the class is over, you'll get lifetime access to all of the videos and all of the studies that we had uh, in this masterclass. So you can always come back and relearn or restudy anything that you might have skipped over or you might have missed. Here's a quick preview of some of the things you're going to be learning in this theory course. In week number one, we're going to be looking at the fundamental theory, the complete overview. We're gonna study all the basic fundamentals of music theory. We're also going to learn what is music theory? Why is music theory critical for songwriting, ear training, playing chords, scales, transposition, and more? We'll be discussing my fundamental whiteboard and practical or application ideas. This way you can learn both the theory in the mind as well as on the fretboard. How to learn the entire musical alphabet using just one simple scale. What is a scale and how is it created? We'll also be discussing chords and chord progressional ideas. In week two, we begin fretboard study, commanding the fretboard with note memorization and interval studies. We're going to learn to apply the chromatic scale to each and every string on the guitar. We'll be discussing shortcuts to memorizing the notes on each string. We'll learn how to cross-reference each new string with the last string to memorize note relations and octaves on the guitar. We'll learn one fast and easy trick to learning these intervals on each string. We'll also learn how to see intervals on multiple strings at the same time. In week three, we start the major scale theory. We're going to learn to construct a major diatonic scale from the chromatic scale. We'll learn its half steps and its whole step configuration. We'll learn that all major scales have half steps between the third and fourth and the seventh and eighth, and I'll show you a really awesome shortcut doing that. We'll be using the key of C to begin with to keep everything nice and easy. We'll be applying that same template to all the other keys so you'll learn all 12 keys so you can learn about transposition. We'll be applying that major scale theory directly to the fretboard. In week four, we're going to start our fundamental chord theory. We're gonna learn how chords are created from each step of the major scale. We're gonna discuss triads and how they're created and how they're stacked together. We'll learn that triads are actually three different sizes in a major scale. There's a major chord, a minor chord, and a diminished chord. We'll also learn how to transpose all of this into all other keys. In week five, we'll be expanding your fretboard with chord concepts. You'll be learning my major chord conversion trick. It's an easy way of learning all of your chords, major, minor, and diminished. We'll learn how the caged chord concept works for visualization of the fretboard and creating new visual ideas and options for you. We'll discuss basic arpeggios and how they bring together the scale, chord, and interval sounds all within your soloing or your rhythm playing. In week six, we'll understand the seventh chords. We'll learn how to create seventh chords from each scale step of the major scale and the theory that goes with it. We'll discuss the major sevenths and the dominant sevenths. We'll also learn why major and minor chords can get either a major or a dominant seventh sound added on top of it. We'll learn the notation of these chords in sheet music. We'll learn why the major seven sounds jazzy and why the dominant seven sounds bluesy and we'll be applying all of these chords directly to the fretboard. In week seven, we're gonna begin understanding extended chords. We're gonna have an extensive discussion about the theory of ninth, 11th, and 13th chords. 
We'll also learn how to apply all of these chords directly to the guitar. We'll also learn why, as a chord expands to add more pitches, we have to make decisions on what we want to play with the limitations of having four fingers and six strings. In week eight, we'll be exploring altered chords as well as the minor scale theory concept. We're gonna learn how add chords work. We're gonna learn how sus chords work. We're gonna apply those chords directly to the guitar. We will learn the theory and the terminology behind all of those altered chords. We'll learn the secret to why the minor scale is actually just the major scale, but the emphasis changes. In week nine, we're gonna be expanding the major scale. We're gonna be talking about modes, pentatonic scales, and the blues. What are the seven modes of music? Well, we're gonna learn the basic outline of each one of those. We're going to have an in-depth discussion of how the pentatonic scale is created from the diatonic scale. And we're also gonna learn about the blues scale and how that's created from the pentatonic scale. And we're gonna be discussing the circle of fifths. In week 10, we'll be looking at fundamental rhythm studies and understanding the blues. We'll be learning about the 12 bar blues and how that 12 bar blues structure actually works. We're gonna learn why the 12 bar blues is essentially built on seventh chord sounds. We'll be talking about the illogical element of the blues and how to make sense of it for you. We'll be discussing the rhythm of the blues, either the shuffle or the swing. We're gonna learn how to add extended chord concepts into our blues chords. We're going to apply the minor pentatonic scale to the blues. We're also going to apply the major pentatonic scale to the blues as well. We're also going to create what I call a hybrid blues scale by implementing both major and minor pentatonic at the same time. We'll also be studying rhythmic elements such as whole notes, half notes, quarter notes, eighth notes, and of course triplets. In week 11, we're gonna study altered and exotic scale concepts as well as learning notation. We're going to learn what the harmonic minor scale is in relation to the major scale. We're also going to study the melodic minor scale and its purpose in modern music. We're gonna look at many various altered scale ideas and how to apply them directly to your playing. With music notation, we're gonna learn about the staff, treble and bass, the notes, and the note values. In week 12, we'll be looking at music theory in the real world. We're gonna discuss famous songs and how they do or don't fit into music theory. I'll also be giving you some final words of advice and proper practicing tips. The skills that I'm going to be introducing you to in this course are going to be yours forever. So you can start using them at the very next jam session or the next practice that you have with some of your friends and you can show them all the awesome things that you've actually been learning as you go to your fretboard and you start exploring all of these new ideas and concepts. Make sure you scroll down and check out some of the free bonuses that you'll be getting along with this course, but only before the big timer hits zero. And if you order it now and you work all the way through this masterclass, you're actually going to get a certificate that shows that you are a certified music theory specialist. How awesome is that? So make sure that you scroll down and you register right now. But remember, we have very limited seating, so you need to hurry up and secure your spot in this masterclass as soon as possible. See you in the Music Theory for Life Masterclass.